2024 is poised to be an exciting year for flight simmers, especially those keen on piloting twin-engine Airbus aircraft. Phoenix has their A320 Block II, Anybuilds has their upcoming A320neo and A350. Additionally, Aerosoft's much-anticipated A330 is expected to hit the shelves eventually. For enthusiasts eager to complement these new launches with an upgrade to their throttle setups, ProDesk Sim presents an enticing offer with their Airbus A319 through A321 advanced add-on mod package compatible with the Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant. Let's find out if it's worth picking up. Bottom line, this product delivers an authentic Airbus experience and boasts impressive aesthetics considering its 3D printed construction. The product offers replacement throttle levers, flap and speed brake levers, as well as detents for flaps and speed brakes. Optional upgrade add-ons include an arming speed brake lever and engine start switches. The price ranges from $110 to $185, depending on the chosen options, which is steep. Despite the cost, I would genuinely recommend considering this item for any simmer who likes flying the A320 series. A crucial disclaimer that I want to emphasize up front in this video, using this add-on will void the warranty on your throttle quadrant. Honeycomb does not offer support for attaching third-party parts to your quadrant, so proceed with caution. This set boasts fully functional throttle levers, complete with auto throttle disconnect switches on both levers and a reverse thrust detent. These can be paired with detent settings that you can set your throttles into for climb, flex, and toga. All of the buttons function as advertised, and the th reverse thrust engage levers provide a satisfying click when activated, adding to the tactile experience of using the controls. I'll note that if you are looking for these levers to function also for the A330 and A350 series, the only difference in the package would be the reverse thrust levers, as those aircraft use an alternate reverse thrust lever design. The detents function seamlessly, providing a satisfying click with each transition. However, one notable drawback is the absence of a reverse thrust detent. The throttle levers are larger than the default Bravo levers, increasing the likelihood of inadvertently engaging the reverse thrust detent when intending to move to idle. In actual Airbus aircraft, it is impossible to suppress the idle detent without activating the reverse thrust gates. And while incorporating such functionality would likely increase the product's cost significantly, it would have been beneficial if the detent covers at least included the reverse thrust zones and perhaps added additional detents to indicate when the throttle passes idle. This enhancement could improve the user experience. Examining the throttles closely reveals that their sizing feels appropriate and offers a satisfying grip. Despite being 3D printed, they maintain a smooth texture and feel comfortable in hand. However, scrutiny uncovers some shortcomings, particularly with the grainy appearance of the sides, which fails to replicate the shiny finish of real throttles. This is especially frustrating as the manufacturer has achieved shiny throttle levers for their 737 model. The throttles also have an attachment to mark what detent your throttles are sitting in. It's relatively simple, but it gets the job done. This part was actually a recent addition the developer has added to the product. If you already own this set and would like this part, the developer has told me that you can reach out to them directly on their website and they will send you this widget free of charge. An optional upgrade for this set includes a pair of engine start switches priced at $39. While these switches possess an appealing appearance and appropriate shape, I find it tough to recommend them. Practically, their functionality becomes cumbersome without the ability to adjust engine start mode simultaneously. This results in reliance on using the mouse to set engines to start before toggling the starters on the Bravo. Additionally, these switches fail to mimic the functional movement of real switches as they lack the gate mechanism that requires pulling back to lock them into the on or off position. Consequently, accidental actuation becomes all too easy, detracting from the overall user experience. I honestly can't recommend getting this upgrade for the product. This set features a spring-loaded flap that enables you to pull the flap lever in the same method that you can pull the flap lever on a real Airbus. It has four different detents, same as the Airbus. 
and features a gate at the end that prevents you from leaving the four prescribed flap settings. While the flap lever functions adequately, it doesn't entirely replicate the real Airbus experience. Feedback from a friend who is an A320 pilot revealed that smoothly transitioning the flap lever from flaps up to flaps full isn't possible in reality. Notably, there are gates at flap one and flap three that interrupt the transition process, which the current product iteration lacks. It's worth mentioning that the developer has successfully implemented similar features in their Boeing series of products, so hopefully that is a function that they can integrate here as well in a future version. Aesthetically, the flap lever is okay. It deviates from the rounded top cover designs of real Airbus levers, and an exposed screw is oddly visible. While the flap detent cover presents well, the fonts don't precisely match those on the real Airbus, and the full designation at the bottom should be in all uppercase. The speed brake design in the base package is all right. The speed brake operates statically, progressing through detents similar to throttle levers, with detents at up, half, and full, similar to the real Airbus. The absence of a gate at the full marker poses a risk of accidental exceedance, a puzzling oversight considering the solutions implemented in other designs like the flaps. The optional upgrade package introduces a speed brake arming mechanism for an additional $35. It is functional and has the notable feature of having a white marking on the shaft. From talking with my pilot friend, this is a critical visual cue real Airbus pilots use to verify that the speed brake is armed. One function that is missing is that the speed brake lever is not supposed to be movable when it is in the armed position, although this would be very challenging to integrate on this design. Additionally, the lever is relatively short, but that is understandable considered limited spacing on the Bravo. And it does have a significant amount of play, lacking sturdiness and undermining the overall user experience. Setting up and removing this package from the Bravo is straightforward requiring just two additional steps compared to the default Bravo product, involving the installation of detent covers. This process takes less than 30 seconds to complete. For storage, utilizing the box in which the labors are delivered proves to be practical. The box offers ample space, slightly larger than the honeycomb boxes, which facilitates easy storage on a shelf. In conclusion, my experience with this product has been largely positive, offering a unique Airbus-like experience with the Throttle Quadrant. While the design is appealing and the functionality meets expectations, it does have its imperfections. Personally, I highly recommend acquiring the base product for the Throttle Quadrant and considering the arming spoiler mechanism if budget allows. The base product, priced at $110, may seem cheap for a Bravo add-on, but for enthusiasts of the Airbus series, it's a worthwhile investment. And that concludes this review. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to share them in the comments below. If you're interested in more videos like this, let us know. For FSC Elite, this is Spencer, signing off.